Hey, what's going on? This is Noah Alexander with Classic Car Studio from St. Louis, Missouri. We're going to take a look back at 2018, look at some really cool custom car building trends, and then look forward and kind of guess at what might be going on then. So every year, the custom car building world, the skills get better and better and better. It's absolutely crazy. When you went to car shows back in the 80s and 90s, you'd see a lot of stuff that you were blown away by. But looking at the skill sets that are available now that guys are putting into use to build these crazy cars, you would have never guessed people would be building cars at this level. Let's take a look back at 2018. We've got Mitch Button's absolutely killer Ferrari 328. This thing sits an inch off the ground, all aired out on 12 and a half inch rotiform. It's got a really, really slick gray paint job. It's called Grigio Medio. It has a Kevlar body kit. This thing is slick, really, really smooth integration on everything you did to that. You've got 288 GTO fog lights up front. Um, it's got mirrors off the uh, GT3 series Ferrari and a really cool exhaust coming out the back. Uh, absolute seamless integration of all the body work. Most importantly, Mitch stepped out of the box and built a custom Ferrari. That's something we have not seen a whole lot of, but expect to see a bunch of that in the future. Just when you thought you'd never want to see another 1969 Camaro at SEMA, Greening Automotive out of Alabama slaps you in the face with this 1971 Ford Maverick. The quality on this car is totally over the top. It's got big kicked out wheel flares, a 1200 horsepower engine, his customer claims to want to go 200 miles an hour at the Texas Mile. I don't see that being a problem, but the build quality on this car is absolutely over the top. It's got carbon fiber rockers, a flip forward hood, the front balance is totally one off. You would never ever in a million years to expect a Maverick to look this good, but this one does. Next up, we have the Evolution by Speedcore. It's a 1970 Charger that is built 100% out of carbon fiber and billet aluminum parts made by the guys up at Speedcore. The attention to detail and the precision on this body is way over the top. I've never seen a car where every single fiber on the carbon fiber lined up with the next panel. You can literally sit and look at this thing for probably a half hour and still not see it all, but the fit and finish is over the top. The use of composite materials is absolutely insane, and the styling on the car is way, way over the top. I don't know if there are many cars that compete with this thing on the planet, but expect to see the use of composite materials like this a whole lot in the future, both from Speedcore and from other companies. In terms of builders really pushing the envelope into new territory, we're seeing aggressive stances that are still reliable and drivable, big horsepower numbers, and really aggressive overall styling on these builds. And that's come away from the past where we had a lot of chrome and more traditional style builds. Looking forward, we have to ask ourselves, what are people gonna be building in the next 10 years, the next five years, maybe way out in the next 20 years? Traditionally, everybody's always built something that they knew or that they grew up with. The cars were brand new, they were loved, they fell out of style, they kind of fell by the wayside, and then all of a sudden the restorations and the customizations start. So if we look at what we're gonna be building in the future, you gotta look at what the kids in the 80s drove. In the last few years, we've seen a big pop in the F100s from the 60s and the 70s as the early C10s, the first gen ones, got a little expensive. Uh, we're also seeing square bodies come up. What about the Fox body Mustangs? We all had one in high school. We all had a good time with them. They're currently being drag race. The values are going up. Expect to see a ton of those on the road in the future as wild customs. It's a great time to be in the custom car world. Let's see what 2019 has in store for us.